In this video, I'm going to show you Shushugiban, Japanese wood preservation technique, and how I do it in a couple of easy steps. Here we go. All right, what the hell am I doing here? Well, Shushugiban, that's what I'm doing. So these are uh, like a shiplap pine plank about three quarter inch thick. And these are gonna be lined up and turned into a door ultimately. But what I like to do is I like to employ a Japanese wood preservation technique called Shishugiban. And what that does is it seals the wood effectively from all sorts of things, from weather, water, rodents, bugs. They don't like this. Animals are inherently wired to stay away from burnt things because that's a self-protection thing so it's great for that and i think it looks beautiful because it takes uh you know a very plain and ordinary piece of pine and gives it this beautiful weathered brown look so i have one more plank here to uh scorch and then once i'm done with that what happens i'm using just like a it's like a weed killing torch attached to a 20 pound propane tank and what I'm going to do is once I've, I've done this one I'm going to take a wire brush and take the top layer of the, uh, the burnt part of the pine off and that leaves just like this sort of coffee brown finish and you can do this as much or as little as you want. Uh, some people take it as far as uh, burning the top of the wood to down to what's sort of looks like alligator skin, which is where kind of like, I'd say almost like an eighth of an inch is effectively, you know, turned into charcoal on the top. And then you just leave it like that. And I prefer to just kind of darken it down like this and then, and then wire brush it. And what happens that's the final step is I apply a layer of a coat of linseed oil on it and that's it I mean you know you don't have to worry about it for the next couple of years so anyway I've got a couple boards done over here already um, Shishugiban it's uh, tried and tested and uh, it's something that I love to do would love to do an entire exterior of a house with this of course it's a little bit labor intensive it's it's a it's a great way to go you know I know there's other videos on this on YouTube but uh, I just wanted to add one of my own so here it is all right let's burn this last board
right, that's it. That's how you do it. You kind of uh, just go over it a bunch of times. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Obviously do it in a safe fashion. Um, I have it up out here on these saw horses. The ground is sufficiently wet anyway. I'm not gonna start a forest fire, but do be careful doing this. It could uh, result in something catching fire that shouldn't. And um, yeah, let's do the final step here or the second to last step where we uh, sand the, um, the top of this off at this point and um, reveal the lovely browned charred wood underneath. Good to wear gloves doing this. So the burnt parts kind of have a, almost like a, um, a shiny look to it. But then when you start to scrape at it, there's a sort of a dull matte finish underneath that. And that's kind of what you're looking for. that down a little but that is just I don't know I think that's beautiful Nice. And then, like I said, the linseed oil will just add a um, just a shine to it that makes it look pretty awesome, or even more awesome than it already does. Okay, and last board. Voila. Okay, and there it is. That is my Shishugi Bond video. If that has been helpful to you, great. There is no right or wrong with this process. It's something you just have to kind of get out there and experiment with. I've kind of found the way that I like to do it. Doesn't mean that you have to do it the same way. If this video has been helpful to you and you'd like to see more videos of this type, please hit subscribe, support my channel, and I will produce more of this kind of stuff. Thank you.